Uh, let me introduce myself. I'm Dr. Fru Benson. I'm from South Africa. I had the privilege and uh, good fortune to have chaired this meeting since 2017. Um, so I'd like to say welcome to you all. I'd like to, first of all, recognize the presence of very important people, our country representatives and representatives um, from Ministries of Health, you are welcome. And then uh, representatives from the World Health Organization and the several UN bodies, welcome to you. Representatives uh, from the GTFCC partner organization and uh, the donor organizations, you are most welcome. And members from the Secretariat, Philip, Marion, and the team, welcome to you all, distinguished delegates. It is, as I said, a pleasure and a privilege to welcome you. It's now been nearly five years since we launched the global roadmap to end cholera. And it's only eight years more to go to 2030. So if you look at it, we have very little time. It's time for us to measure where we're at and obviously to plan the, the, the road ahead. If ever there's a time to move beyond plans and commitment to taking bold and courageous action in cholera endemic countries, that time is now. To, rem to remind us just about the, globe, uh, the global uh, roadmap goal that we set here uh, five years ago. We set a target of reduction in cholera deaths by 90%. We set a target to eliminate cholera in 20 countries. Now, obviously, these are very ambitious goals. I'd like to say countries, partners, donors of the GTFCC, uh, we all will have to put shoulder to the wheel to ensure implementation of effective OCV uh, programs and sustainable WASH programs to ensure our targets are achieved. I wish you all to, to thank you all for the commitment you've shown up till now. Without that commitment, we would have not have uh, made the achievements uh, that we have. But I'd like to urge you to go beyond that towards implementation. Now, obviously, at this meeting, it's, it's, like, it's structured like all our annual meetings. The first major objective of the meeting is to re, uh, receive an update uh, from the Secretariat on where we're at, as well as an update uh, from the uh, Global Support Platform and the working groups. The next objective of the meeting is to map precisely on the global uh, roadmap where we're at with regard to the goals for 2030. We are also aiming to share, uh, uh, let countries share their progress and update us on their programs and also share their specific challenges that they have in the impl implementation of their national uh, cholera plans. We have about 11 or 12 countries that will share with us uh, today. Um, we will also look at some of the recent innovations and development. Uh, this program has been structured with more, uh, morning interactions where people can share their experiences. There will also be an opportunity to share uh, some of your research that you've done in post this, uh, this afternoon and, and, and over the, the evening sessions that we've got. So um, there will be a lot of opportunity to network and share. We will also highlight the multi-sectoral uh, approaches to uh, uh, achieving our goals. 
So um, a lot of uh, three days, uh, I, I think uh, for all of us, COVID-19 has changed how we interact. And it, uh, we normally had the sessions over three full days. Now it's going to be squeezed into three afternoons. So it's a challenging period and I'd like to wish you well on over the next three days.